The first thing I wanted to do today before we get started is say a big thank you to you all. I didn't expect these videos to do quite as well as they did. Um, when I uploaded it, I kind of expected that it would be a quite a niche topic compared to our vlogs, but no, it seems like everyone here is very supportive and lovely, so that's great. Thank you very much. We've got a great amount of views and likes on that, so please go ahead and leave this video a like. And if there's anything you want to see in my next tutorial, make sure you comment below um, because I've already run out of ideas and this is only like the second one. So with this video, I'm going to talk about motion blur and how I apply motion blur to my time lapses. Now, if you've watched a few of our vlogs before, you'll know that I do like time lapse video, but on top of the time lapse, I often apply a motion blur to the clips. I feel that it makes them look a little bit less harsh and it's just a bit smoother. I, I just like it, it's a personal preference. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I go about doing this and if you would like to do the same to your clips, the download link for the plugin is in the description below. It is free, just go ahead and download it. Uh, all the instructions are there and it works with Final Cut Pro without any payment, so go nuts. So firstly, you're gonna to have to install the plugin once you've downloaded it. Once you've installed the plugin, the process is very simple. The key thing is not what you do in Final Cut Pro, it's when you're out on the street shooting that time lapse. The most important thing for me is to ensure that the camera is stable. So if you've got a tripod, set the legs as wide as you can and make sure your focus is set to manual. I tend to record about five or 10 minutes of footage. I know someone like Matt Van Der Poot, who is a, a pro time lapse photographer, will take all night and shoot a series of shots every five or 10 minutes. This is the quick and dirty version of that. If you want to check out some incredible time lapses, make sure you check Matt's channel. I'll link that below. So from here, we're going to drag our footage onto the timeline and speed it up. Now, the keyboard shortcut to do that in Final Cut Pro is Command and R. So just hit Command R and you'll see this green thing appears. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and grab the clip and squash it down to the length you want. Typically, I go for around about 20 times. I just like that effect, but experiment and see what, what your preference is. So that's how I do a simple time lapse in Final Cut Pro. It's really easy. You just drop it on the timeline and squash it up. If we play that back now, it will play back quickly, which looks cool, but it's not, it's not super smooth and buttery, which is how I like it. So that's where this plugin comes into play. You go to the Titles pane and you select the plugin. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag it over the top of the clip and extend it out to the full length of the clip that you want to make smooth time lapse. So there's no other settings to mess with on this plugin. All you do is you hit play. And what the filter is going to do is it's going to take all the frames that were lost due to speeding up the clip and reapply them on the same frame at varying opacities, which when played back gives us that super smooth flow, even though technically it kind of shouldn't. So that's it. It really is that simple to apply. It does play back a little bit slow, so you might need to hit render to see it playing back really nicely. But when you export it, it'll be absolutely fine. If you like this video or found it useful, please make sure you give this video a like. And if you haven't already, please go check out some of my vlogs. Or if you don't want to, maybe you could just click play on one of my playlists and go out for the day. That would be cool. At least I'll, uh, I'll earn the AdSense. Thanks. Bye.